we'll be using them, of course, very responsibly, as, as we'll see in, in a minute. The second building block is the um, is kind of like an intermediate between the well-known uh, techniques of supervised and unsupervised learning. So semi-supervised learning combines or, or seeks to combine in certain situations the best of both worlds by making use of a small set of labels and then iterating. And we'll see that this is the, at the heart of what we're both both uh, building blocks are going to be at the heart of the ICN model that we're building towards. So uh, you can see them as why why is it the best of both worlds? Because unlike unsupervised learning, it can be applied to more problems essentially, from classification and regression to clustering and association. So unsupervised learning is typically relegated to things like clustering. So on the other side, unlike supervised learning, which uses a, like assumes that all the data that you have is labeled, it uses a small amounts of labeled data and large amounts of unlabeled data. So it kind of balances out in that sense, reducing the effort spent on manual annotation that is expensive typically because it comes from, from humans um, annotating ground truth and also cuts, of course, data preparation time. And self-supervised learning is a specific type of, um, of semi-supervised learning that we'll see in a minute. So supervised learning, uh, you can see um, the semi-supervised learning versus both, both worlds. So it kind of sits in the middle, right? So supervised assumes that all data is labeled and you get your model, unsupervised, assumes that all data is unlabeled, then you get your model. And here you have this combination that I was just talking about. Semi-supervised self-training is, is pretty interesting because first you, um, you obtain uh, your first classifier with a small portion of, of, uh, of labeled data, and then you use the, the unlabeled data to classify based on that model, and then you get what's called pseudo-labeled data. And then you get, um, you, you take a selection of the most confident pseudo-labels and the original labeled data, and then you get your improved classifier to get your predictions. So this is what, what's typically called uh, self-supervised or self-trained. So this is uh, another one called um, co-training, where you can also uh, establish, you know, interacting uh, training um, training procedures, where you you can typically get your most confident uh, predictors from one classifier predictions from one classifier and use it to label in the other. So it's 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 a way of um, again, trying to um, get the best of, of both worlds. 